Hi people, <clears throat> this is Nettie again. I'm going to try and do the video. If you see I have my little horse is that I haven't gone over the virus. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't gone over the virus. Uh, to top it off, my poor dog died. She was 16. Um, it's not this one, the one you'd see there. That's, that's the baby. The other brown one that sometimes comes in the video. That I'll be telling, don't lick me, don't lick me. Oh, she died. Um, well, you can't do much about it. Okay, I had to shut the, um, how you call it, the camera for a while. But okay, I got my composter. I wanted to show you, look at this. The tomato is growing pretty big, you know. And it has little baby ceilings opening. I also wanted to show you an experiment I'm doing. Did you see that? That's cucumbers. Pieces of cucumbers that I have here. Um, it was in the other, I have thrown it in the other dirt there. Well, I had the time to really focus and do this. So, I'm going to open all this and bury all these. Hold on. Wait. I'm cutting them in half. And I'm putting them in the here. And see if they grow. If you see the second one, I noticed that they puffed out. Like if they want to grow. So, this is going to be an experiment. And I hope it works because I love cucumbers. They are so refreshing. To me, it's like watermelon. But, um, how you call it? But this one, the top one, it looks like it's going to blow up any minute. Like the seed is going to grow, you know. So, because it wasn't like that the day I threw it there, you know, the day before yesterday. Now it's like all puffy. So it looks like it's going to give. And I'm going to just bury them in halves here. I'm going to make it in two rows. Because the two rows will be that they could hold on that side. I could make the trellis. I got the equipment for the trellis to do this kind of trellis. Or, and then this side, it could just go on this side, hold by the rails. So, it has enough ways to hold on to itself. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to bury this, and I will, and then I'm going to show you something else. Hold on. I want, I want to also show you my, my onions. Look how beautiful. Uh, one died, but I still have five of them. This is one, this is two, three, four, and five. So I got all five of them. You know, just one, this one in this corner died. So, um, because whatever was, you know, picking out the, the plants, I think I was a rat because um, I put rat poisoning every day. I would give them some delicious food with rat poisoning and they were eating it. Then I heard in the backyard like something squeaking. And I think it was that he was in pain. And then after that, never came back to bother my plants again. So I guess uh, the people, the other rats got the message. Don't go to that girl's house. She's a killer. <laughs> so um, also my garlic is doing okay. Some of them, the, the top part fell off. But I assume that it will go right back up again. Because I touch in the bottom, they're still there. I'm not giving it water because um, in the winter time it's very humid. And the dirt always keeps humid. So there I'm not, you know, I'm very careful in giving them um, water. And on the side of the garlic, you have this beautiful plant. Let me see if I could get a close up. Okay, hold on. That's as much close up we're going to get. But anyway, look at that. It's very beautiful. So um, it's growing. I think that's where it stops there. Because it's starting to give... Um, little seed the little um how you call it the little pot for to make the flowers it's, it starts right there so i'm glad that this one is not too big because um let me shut this off <laughs> because um how you call it because of my wheelchair i cannot you know pull up there i had one one of these um tomatoes they grow very big it was already like six feet i said oh my god i can't handle it i tried to cut it down and it died you know, and the other ones also died, you know, so, because I can't have them outside. Most of the things that grows is right here in my balcony. I have a, tons of things here, but it's all in my balcony. So I put all those cucumbers here. I hope they grow, because if they do grow, I did it like I do the tomatoes. 
I don't clean it, dry it, all that, then plant it. I just take a scoopful with all the gooey stuff that it has, plant it in there, cover it up. I don't put water on it. And that serves as water, as nutrition for them, I guess. Because then within a week, less than a week, around five days, they're already growing, you know. So that's how I got this tomato. This tomato is um, store-bought. I bought a tomato in the store. I ate the tomato, and, but I took all the gooey stuff. And I had, I think it was like 23, 25 tomatoes. But the problem I have that I, I plant outside since I can't, haven't been able to fix the outside, the raised bed outside because of money-wise. So it's very hard. But um, I will plant, I am planning to fix it. I'm saving up some money little by little. And one day I'll be having the money to put it there. So, um, but I'm not in a rush. I still could plant here and I love it here because it could rain, it could snow, it could storm, it could do whatever. And I still, in the balcony of my house, I don't have to go outside. I could just give them water, give them all they need. Look at all that thing all the way down there. All of that is um, aloe vera. Tons of aloe vera. I got five aloe vera. Mother and sons and all that. So, but I, I haven't used it lately because I use it like when I get swollen, I drink it. You know, and how you call it? I drink it with juice, and it comes the swelling. You know, it makes me um, go to the bathroom, clean myself out. You know, and then my swellings go down. That's because I got that since I got the sepsis in two in two thousand nine. I still haven't got over that part, but hopefully I will. Um, I'm checking for this plant right there. You see that plant right there? Let me see if I could get another close up. Okay, this plant is cranberries. I don't know. I see like little white spots. I don't know if the cranberry flower is white or what. Oh, my mother doesn't know what she gave me. <laughs> well, anyway, and down there, let me see if you can see. Right in that bush right there, we have, um, how you call it? It's a red, it's not heart. It looks like heart, but it's not. And that plant, um, pumarose, I think is what they call it, pumarose. And uh, I call it, my son was very smart. He planted it in my cousin's land. <laughs> Ain't that great? Well, they didn't say anything. They left it there. So I guess there's no problem. And we have gotten to get some and all that. But he was supposed to plant it on this side. And he planted it on that side. But anyway, we usually do things crazy like that, and then we all share it. What the heck, you know? We all family here. So, you know, there's nobody outside the family in this area. Very little bit of it. We are basically all families. You know, this used to be a farm. Many years ago, it was a farm where my great-grandmother was alive. And we only had three houses in the whole uh, five acres. There was only three houses. But then later, my aunt, my great-grandmother got sick. They had a sell part of the land and I think we stood with like with two acres something like that and then people stopped farming and they start using it to as an inheritance you know the land to to build the houses now all this is houses but we still have the custom of uh, planting that little bowl that I saw uh, show you in this side over here of the wood uh, that's um, papaya my husband went to check it. It's a papaya, but it's not done. He don't know what is done. So he told me, I don't know. I squeeze it. It don't feel like it's done. So I don't know. So I got to find out. I got to ask my son. He used to love papaya. And it has a lot of little baby papayas. So, um, you know, so he, I'm going to ask him, you know, how do you know when the papaya is ready? I don't like papaya, but I'm going to do it with juicing. You know, putting orange juice uh apples i love apples i planted two seeds of apples these apples are very small but they are so and so sweet so we play uh, plan to plant one of those i got tamarind i got um i have soursop i have tangerine uh, tangerine i already said i have also how you call it i think it's a grape plant i'm not too sure and i have uh, two lemon trees so I got a couple of trees here 
I can't remember now, you know, since I'm a little. But, um, oh, avocado. I got my avocado tree in the back, the one they gave this summer. And I got another avocado in the front of the house. This is a, sm is a smaller avocado plant. But we're planning to fix also this side over here. You know, that's what the, you know, over here. And lock it and close it up. And we could put um, cans there of different trees. So we are planning to, we have a lot of plans, but, you know, like it is. So anyway, but it will be done. If not, well, nobody's going to die over it. <laughs> so God bless you all. And until next time, bye-bye.